the golden age of the African Moors. Long before the sun dipped below the Mediterranean horizon in southern Iberia, a vibrant civilization flourished in the desert sands of North Africa. These were the Moors, scholars, engineers, artists and healers, whose journeys carried them across the Strait of Gibraltar into Al-Andalus, a land soon to glow with the brilliance of black excellence. The Caravan of Wisdom In the year 711 CE, Tariq Ibn Ziyad led a diverse army across the narrow strait. Among the soldiers rode Al-Mansur, a Berber engineer from the Atlas Mountains, and Fatima al karawiya a gifted scholar from Kairouan. As they advanced, they brought with them not only swords but lanterns of learning, mathematical treatises, medical scrolls, and precise maps of stars. Under their guidance, caravans laden with texts traveled from Fez and Tunis to Cordoba, Seville, and Granada. In dusty caravanserai, Arabo-Berber translators painstakingly rendered Greek and Sanskrit works into Arabic, preserving the knowledge of Ptolemy, Galen, and Aryabhata. This cultural exchange would become the mortar-binding African ingenuity to European curiosity. Al-Andalus, a beacon of innovation. In Cordoba, now the largest city in Europe, the great mosque's horseshoe arches soared above gardened courtyards fed by ingenious Kanat canals, an ancient Persian irrigation system perfected by Moorish hands. These underground channels, dug by engineers like Al-Mansur, brought water to orchards of citrus and olive groves, transforming arid lands into emerald fields. At the renowned Beit al-Hikmah, House of Wisdom, Fatima al karawiya established a feminist-led scriptorium where young women studied algebra and astronomy. They devised the decimal positional system that would, centuries later, revolutionize commerce across Europe. In the Madrasa of Granada, Nasir Ibn Kusrau, a Moorish astronomer, constructed astrolabes so precise they guided ships far into the Atlantic, laying the groundwork for the Age of Discovery. Architects of Harmony From Seville's Alcázar palaces to Granada's Alhambra, Moorish architects married geometry and artistry, Intricate Mukana's vaults, constructed without metal supports, defied gravity and dazzled the senses, proof that mathematics and beauty need not be strangers. Black artisans carved arabesque patterns into ivory and cedar, each swirl echoing profound spiritual truths. Meanwhile, the university at Fez, founded by Fatima's descendants, became the world's first degree-granting institution. Students of all faiths studied side by side, learning Greek philosophy and Islamic jurisprudence. Graduates carried scrolls of Averro's commentaries on Aristotle back to Paris and Oxford, sparking Europe's scholastic renaissance. Guardians of Health In the bustling courtyards of Seville's Dar al-Shifa hospital, Moorish physicians introduced clinical practices unheard of in medieval Christendom. They performed cataract surgeries using curved needles, set broken bones with wooden splints, and administered antiseptic herbal concoctions drawn from desert plants. Black healers like Ibn al-Baytar catalogued hundreds of medicinal herbs, laying the foundation for modern pharmacology. When the Black Death ravaged Europe centuries later, European doctors turned to Moorish medical texts for guidance. Black inked remedies that saved countless lives and bore testament to centuries of observation and compassion. The Bridge to Europe as Al-Andalus reached its zenith, scholars translated Arabic works back into Latin. Fibonacci, fascinated by the Hindu-Arabic numerals introduced by Moorish traders in Pisa, wrote the Liber Abaci in 1202 CE, teaching Europe to abandon cumbersome Roman numerals. Gothic cathedrals rose with vaulting arches inspired by Moorish geometry. Universities in Bologna and Salamanca patterned their curricula after Fez's madrasa. Though the Reconquista would eventually end Moorish rule in 1492, their legacy endured. The libraries, waterworks, universities and hospitals they built became beacons that guided Europe out of its dark ages. Moral Lessons Knowledge knows no borders. True advancement comes when cultures share freely, just as the Moors and Europeans exchanged texts, leading to breakthroughs on both shores. Innovation springs from diversity. When people of different backgrounds collaborate, engineers, scholars, healers, the result is richer, more resilient solutions. Preserve and adapt. 
By preserving ancient wisdom and adapting it to new contexts, the Moors taught us that progress often builds on the shoulders of prior genius. Beauty and utility can coexist. The Alhambra's graceful arches remind us that function need not sacrifice elegance. Sustainable design can, and should, be artful. Service to humanity is the highest calling. Moorish hospitals cared for all patients regardless of creed, exemplifying compassion as the noblest of pursuits. In celebrating the African Moors, we honor a civilization whose spirit of inquiry and excellence continues to ripple through our world. May their story inspire us to seek knowledge, embrace diversity, and uplift humanity with every discovery.